This is 911 emergency. Do you need police, fire, or ambulance? I am uh, doing a bridge inspection here on the I-40 Mississippi River Bridge. We just found a, a super critical finding that, that needs traffic shut down. TDOT says that RDOT inspectors found a crack in a support beam. River traffic, barges are also shut down until further notice. The situation with this bridge may be a regional issue, but it is a national concern. Those in Memphis, those outside Memphis, even to the White House, everybody understands how important these bridges are in this particular corridor. The significance of the Hernando de Soto Bridge across the Mississippi River is hard to measure. It is a vital link between the east and west of the country. It connects Dallas to Memphis and beyond. And the amount of freight tonnage that goes across that bridge every day is, is huge. I would say my initial reaction was disbelief. It's, it, it was one of those things that is so severe. When you see it, it's, it's truly hard to believe. It's something that you know is, is possible and, and can happen to actually see it in real life is, is startling. So it definitely took a few minutes for it to sink in. Because we had only seen the crack from the top, we really needed to understand the extent of the damage around that member. So the UAS team set up on the bank of the river. The design of the repair for the Hernando de Soto Bridge was, was challenging because one of the first things that we had to do was really to determine whether or not it was safe for the work to be done on the bridge. We had to understand what the condition of the bridge was, um, you know, at the, at the point of the fracture how much load was in the members and how much stress had gone in other places of the bridge. So we focused on getting the bridge stable so that we could strengthen it first and then safely work on the bridge and reopen the bridge to traffic. From a client's perspective, TDOT's looking for a solution that will carry this bridge for decades and decades to come. The design team is looking for a repair that they can stand behind, that they know will meet TDOT's goals. And from a contractor's perspective, we're looking for first and foremost, in this case, emergency repair job. How can we implement a repair as quickly as possible and get traffic open, but also maintain the safety of the personnel doing the work and no further damage to the bridge itself. Basically put the bridge back to where it would have been originally, plus it added additional capacity, which ultimately does give TDOT and RDOT the confidence to tell the public that this bridge will be here it will be here as a landmark in Memphis for decades or 100 years to come. Everybody's focus and attitude to get that bridge open, uh, to do whatever was needed, working together was pretty incredible to me. And there were so many people involved at one point or another, and each one had a very important part of getting that bridge open. The multi-agency coordination was amazing. It was, it was RDOT, TDOT, uh, the Arkansas and Tennessee Federal Highway Administration offices. It included um, also that we brought in our consultants, HNTV, Michael Baker, and the contractor, Kiewit, who came on board pretty quickly after the fracture was discovered. So I can't imagine what, what the people of Memphis and the people traveling through Memphis were feeling at the time, so I appreciate whatever patience they had. I appreciate and thank them for their patience, and I appreciate all the people that was that were involved in this process of getting the bridge open safely and quickly. Thank y'all very much for what you did to make that happen. Thank you.